Funerals are often traditional affairs, usually held in churches, but in the last 20 years there's been a shift away from that format to one where people have more choice. I've come here today to see Gavin Murphy, a funeral director from G in Hickton and Wellington, to find out what sort of changes he's seen in the last few years. What is this place called? Because it looks beautiful. What's the name of the cemetery? Uh, this is the beautiful Akatarua Cemetery here in Upper Hunt. Nice. So Gavin, funerals have changed a lot and you've been in this industry for a while now. So what sort of changes have you noticed? Oh, we've seen a lot, Mike. Um, over the 28 years that I've been involved in the funeral industry, uh, you know, from, from when I joined the industry, we saw a, a lot of uh, church-based funerals. Uh, through to now, where you know, we literally go and sit with a family and create a personalised funeral service uh, from a blank sheet of paper. I'm loving the personalised funeral service. You've probably got some great examples of what people have done. Can you share some of them with me? Not so long ago, we looked after a funeral for a gentleman who uh, just loved his Harley Davidson and he had terminal cancer, so we had the opportunity to sit down and talk with him. He wanted a casket that had Harley Davidson memorabilia all around it, so we were able to get the casket uh, personalised and uh, he got the opportunity to come in and, and see his casket. Um, and for him, that was some real closure. He knew that uh, he was going to get what uh, he wanted for himself. With personalised funerals, people must add their own little touches. Is there any memorable ones for you? Some that um, come to mind uh, where Grandad used to buy the, the Mr Whippy ice cream and uh, so the grandchildren wanted to make sure that uh, Mr Whippy was there on the day and we thought it was going to be something that only the children got involved with but uh, once Mr Whippy arrived at the funeral everyone was out in the car park and um, having an ice cream and, and remembering Grandad. So. I love that. Yeah, it's fantastic. And what if you wanted, say, a nice coffee at your funeral? Has that been done? Yeah, absolutely. We've had baristas come along as well, and so, you know, pour a nice coffee, and, and uh, you know, people love that idea as well, hot chocolate or a, a, a flat white. Okay, Gavin, I wanted to talk to you about technology. Now, that's playing a huge part in funerals, I've noticed. Have you seen that change? Oh, absolutely. Um, web streaming is obviously a big thing for us now, and uh, we're seeing in all families that uh, families are scattered all around the world. Um, it's not always easy for people to get back for the funeral, so dialing in and uh, being part of the service over the web stream has uh, been something that's become really popular with families. I've noticed too that I guess when I was very young I went to a funeral and I basically had to, you know, wait in the wings, so to speak, while the adults did the farewelling. Children are turning up at funerals all the time now. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's absolutely wonderful, you know, seeing their children um, at the service and becoming part of uh, what's happening. And, you know, they'll be running around during the funeral and very much a part of it, and, and that's okay. So I wanted to be the most environmentally friendly I could be when I'm saying goodbye to the world. What options have I got there? Yeah, so we've got, we've got options around embalming. A lot of people used to think that embalming wasn't environmentally friendly. There's been a lot of research and development done around that and you know, there's lots of uh, really good choices available now. You know, most consumers are really considering the impact of, of their decisions on the environment. So all of our caskets are, are pine and come from a sustainable resource. We also uh, give the family after the funeral, approximately three months, we'll send them out a nice little uh, tree that they can plant in memory of their loved one. The environmentally friendly option, I love it. I'm so pleased I came and sat down and talked to you, but if I wanted to get hold of you later, hopefully it is later, uh, how do I do that? Okay, we're available in the uh, telephone directory. Uh, we're in uh, Lower Hutt, Upper Hutt and Poirua. Alternatively, if you uh, go to the internet at uh, gnhicton.co.nz or Facebook, uh, Gian Hicton Funerals, and uh, we'll get straight back to you.